This video is going to cover how to create uh, a GeoShip instance so that you can have your own uh, full-blown geospatial platform uh, installed and configured uh, so that you can have it on a server um, or even on your uh, desktop or your own laptop uh, with all the uh, software components and the capabilities that it has to offer. For more information about GeoShape, go to geoshape.org where um, you can actually find more information and even find a link to that, that gets you to a document explaining how you can um, install uh, GeoShape. We have, I have the document open here and um, there is a set of, uh, there is a set of uh, software that you have to install before you can install GeoShape. The idea is that um, a GeoShape it's going to be installed in a virtual machine that that way it doesn't have to install any components on your actual um, desktop server or laptop um, itself. Instead it makes a virtual machine and installs everything in there. Um, it, it actually uses a specific uh, operating system which is a which is Red Hat uh, or CentOS. This one stands at the CentOS operating system but it's um, easily uh, could be stood up on Red Hat as well. So these are the list of components or the softwares you have to uh, you have to install. First of, all, first of all, a virtual box. Uh, virtual box allows you to have virtual machines uh, on your computer. Uh, Vagrant uh, allows you to easily stand up uh, and uh, allow, it, allow you to create a virtual machine and have it configured. Uh, Git, it's a version control system uh, that um, the, so it, which you can be used to access and clone all the repositories for uh, GeoShape that can start the installation pr uh, process. Um, and uh, of course Google Chrome, which is the recommended browser. Uh, some of the functionality, different parts in GeoShape uh, might not uh, function as you may expect um, on older browser or even in some cases different browsers. So let's go ahead and um, the steps here, after you install this software, there are a set of uh, commands that you want to run for the command line or you're from the shell. Um, I will have the shell open here and we can very simply uh, create and simply copy these commands. This is a git command, the first one, and if you've already installed git, which you, have, uh, you should have at this point, well, it's going to just clone the repository, the vagrant repository, uh, that's going to help us instantiate or create the uh, virtual machine. Next, we're actually going to go into the folder. I'm literally copying from the document. And uh, next, we're going to say vagrant up. This process is going to take a little bit. What's going on right now, the progress bar you were just seeing a second, or the progress indicator, uh, what's actually uh, creating a a virtual machine essentially and the steps that you see going on now it's bringing it up configuring it and then it's going to proceed to uh, install GeoShape and configure all the dependencies um, that uh, that need to be taken care of. Okay the installation process uh, just completed took out 10-15 minutes uh, depending on your connection and uh, other factors, it could take longer. Uh, let's go back to the dock and see what else we have left. So we have um, already done, done uh, Vagrant up. Let's go ahead and now use Vagrant SSH. Vagrant SSH, it's going to um, essentially connect us, to, uh, take us to into the uh, virtual machine so that we can execute our commands uh, directly in the virtual machine as opposed to on the host machine. Uh, which is a laptop here. So let's go ahead and say Vagrant SSH. We're now logged in and we're inside the virtual machine that was just created. And actually if I bring up VirtualBox, um, you'll see that I have a list of virtual machines here, but this, this particular one here is the one that it's currently running and it's the one that we just created. All right, so um, coming back here, we're now logged in to the VM, into the VM. Uh, the next step we gotta run is sudo su space dash. So we'll do sudo su dash. This essentially runs you as, uh, makes it the root user 
on the virtual machine. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and run this next command, which is our GeoShape config init, and then we'll provide it with uh, an IP address. Actually, before I run that command, let me show you that uh, you, if you just type in GeoShape config, uh, you get a list of your list of available commands of, of what can be done, um, and uh, we're we're going to be running the init command, which is here. Okay, so we'll say paste the command again, and we're going to go ahead and configure it on, uh, um, you know, on, on this particular IP address. We'll leave it uh, the default IP. Okay. We'll wait for this to complete. Yeah, at this point, uh, we're prompted to uh, enter a password for the administrator. Okay, and now we're, we're done. Um, so let's go ahead and now go to the IP address in our web browser on the host machine, which was the IP that um, we had specified when we ran GeoShape um, config with the init command. So, go to this IP and note that <clears throat> you get this, uh, depending on your browser, this message is going to look different. The idea here is that it's, uh, you know, it's trying to say that the, the, you don't actually have a valid certificate uh, for this to be a secure encrypted connection. Uh, you can just bypass this. If you're standing up GeoShape and you want to put it on your server, you need to make sure you get a uh, certificate. Uh, that way, all your connections are encrypted and uh, nobody can see any username and passwords uh, being transmitted uh, over the, with the request. So let's go ahead and log in. Now I'm going to use the same username and password here uh, that the username is admin by default and then password is what we typed in uh, during the last step uh, of the configuration of GeoShape. So we're going to log in. And uh, GeoShape already comes with a, a user, which is the admin user we just logged in as. Uh, and also it has a single layer already configured. Uh, and uh, that concludes this video. Uh, please uh, go to GeoShape.org for more information. Thank you very much.